Oh, whoopsie daisies. Sorry guys. I, I I was still muted. I was talking happily, but I was muted. My bad, my bad, my bad. So once again, we have a three kill leader versus three kill leader. Oya versus Schnitzel. Um <laughs> Oya versus Schnitzel. Now the we actually saw these guys play already on this map, PvP. Uh where I believe Oya won after Schnitzel twelve next. And it looks like Schnitzel's gonna do it again! Schnitzel is actually gonna 12 next again. He's gonna try and make it work this time. Last time Oya looked to be in a bit trouble after that Zilla attack, but uh, he held it off with his goons and then just went and killed him. Uh, so that's... That would be... That would be interesting. Um, I wonder what kind of adjustments he'll make. I think... Hmm... I think he should uh, actually cut the after the five zealots. Like the way the way I do it, and the way I think like it's written in the guide, you only make the first five zealots. After that, you just stop making them, and you immediately throw down the forge and the cybernetics core. So uh, your you know your your goons get out a little bit earlier, and your cannons get out a little bit earlier. Because uh, after the initial five, the zealots become increasingly less useful, uh, especially once the goon count gets higher. But uh, we shall see. It looks like Oya is going for a, uh, a zealot first. And has two guys on gas. This might be intentional, given that he is going for Zilla first. Um, and there is the 12 next. And the 12 and 14 gates. Um, so that's that's good. That's cool. It's the same build. It's the same build! It is the same build. And there's the cybernetic score. Now, uh, this initial Zealot... I don't think it will do anything, because you see how long this, this map is? And is he going to build a pylon? No, he's just going to be obnoxious and block it a little bit. But, uh... Yeah, this... The first zealot from, from Schnitzel should be out in time to uh, to defend anyway. So it's, it's not going to do anything. It's not really going to do too much. Um, once again, Schnitzel putting the second pylon in his main. Uh, as I said, I prefer it at the natural. To throw down emergency shield batteries and the like. And cannons, of course. But, uh... Oh! 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 A few probes coming out. Three probes and a zealot versus one probe and a zealot. He's going after the zealot, for, or rather the probe first. And uh, he does have a probe in his base. Uh, oh yeah, putting a pylon in the bottom right. That could be to spot for any kind of cheese. Uh, could also be to hide tech of his own. Look at that, Schnitzel doing some very nice probe control. Just pulling the probes that are... Oh, barely doesn't get that one. Is he... Oh, loses two probes actually. Uh, so oh yeah, doing some nice control right there. Taking out two probes. Actually did his probe. Wow, Oya's probe actually got both of those kills. So that is a two kill probe already. And is he gonna get another one? Oh, oh! He's still running around being obnoxious. And yes, it will be a DT rush. So Oyo is in fact hiding his own tech. And where is the forge? There's no forge yet, but it's all right because Templar archives does take a long time to make. Um, and of course, the forge is the standard follow-up. So I don't think a DT rush is the best response unless he does it from a proxy gateway. Uh, in which case, the DT will actually come out uh, fast enough to to bypass the cannons. Um, oh, oh, he's doing a nice stack, he does a nice drill, and he does take out the uh, Zealot, and he's going to take out the probe. No, the probe escapes with 7 HP. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, two Zealots there, just, just standing idly, I don't, know, I don't know what that was about, and uh, building a second gateway. The, uh, oh, it's going to be a DT drop, so completely ignore what I just said. Because a DT drop is going to bypass the cannons at the front completely. He's going to lose everything in his main. Oh man, I, I lost to this in a clan war. I felt so retarded. I like I 12 next, 
and I went like five gateways with no robo, and he just DT dropped me, and I just QQ'd. Ah, it was so bad. Um, and I, I think we're gonna see the same thing here. The four just finished. He's gonna build a few cannons at his front, and then there's gonna be DTs in his main. So it looks like Oya, uh, is looking good so far. He can obviously he can even just expand behind this as well, since uh, Schnitzel will not have mobile detection for a long time. But here comes the six zealot attack. Now the thing is. Uh, these zealots, is he gonna, I think he should send one to scout around the base, because once he gets in here, he's gonna see, uh, only two gateways and three dragoons. Uh, probably suspiciously few units, really. Uh, so I would hope that he does try and scout around, but it looks like he's actually doing a lot of damage. He's going after the pylon, oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah, there's a second pylon already. He's gonna run out here, is he gonna see it? He's running to the bottom right, no, he's standing around, no! Keep going, Schnitzel, keep going, you need to scout it! Oh, no, Schnitzel turns around to try and do some more damage, does not scout the DT drop coming, so this is not gonna be good. How did this probe get in the base? But there's a probe in the base, but it doesn't really matter, I mean, he's gonna have a shuttle. That probe is, uh, is irrelevant. Ooh, barely keeping that Dragoon alive. Wait, what? Uh... What? <laughs> why Why does he have probes? Okay, uh, two probes decided to go pay a visit. Um, you know, just just uh, get some exercise, go go run around the map a little bit. And it looks like Schnitzel is throwing down plenty of cannon this time. Uh, going to eliminate that probe. Okay, he is actually putting down a cannon in his main. That's... Wow, that's very interesting. Does he suspect? Does... Did he see these DTs? Wait, why are the DTs going home? Oh man, he might have actually... well... I'm actually really confused right now, does, does he just see this coming? Did he actually... see this coming? Uh... Huh. Oh, Justin makes a good point, uh, that maybe he saw that there was no goon range, and so he suspected a DT drop? I mean... I mean, okay, so to be fair, look at that! Look at that! He does suspect it! He's got a robo going! Huh. Now the thing is, the thing is, when once he got into this main, obviously given how few units and how few, like, there was no tech, only two gateways, he must have been suspicious that something was up. And uh, I guess he was just playing safe and defending against a DD drop! Oh no, the Dragoon sees it! The Dragoons are pulling back! There are two cannons in the main though, but I think that should be enough! Oh my god, this is not gonna work at all! These three DTs, they're just like completely stuck. Oh wow! So Schnitzel has completely defended this. However, Oya's uh, own expansion is getting up, but uh, he's got a robo now, so he's gonna have ops pretty soon. Look at that! Schnitzel, uh, Oya's just trying to find something he can attack. Oh, he can get that pylon. But uh, yeah, that's that's really cool. Actually, oh man, that's actually quite good. I think a DT could have snuck back here and like poked in and killed probes like that. That would have been extremely annoying. Uh, notice that actually, actually he did leave one DT outside the natural. He only dropped three into the base. And wow, these DTs are actually being quite annoying. But uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, losing one. But the ops should be out fairly soon though. So uh, that will be the end of that. Wow, I'm surprised this DT isn't in range of that cannon. That is quite surprising to me. And. Oh, there goes the observer, and these DTs are uh, going down. The shuttle is still chilling here at the Northlands. Uh, what is going down in the base? Four gateways. Uh, but whoa, look at that schnitzel. The gateway explosion going up to six gateways uh, with a nice uh, layout as well. Quite like that. And looks like he's going to be exiting his base. Now, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, might be... Uh. Schnitzel might be able to do some huge uh, mid-game attack here, um, because Oya's uh, Nexus has just gone up, and he doesn't have that many units just yet. Uh-oh, uh-oh, gonna try and take out this DT? No, it will get away. So... What do we have? A forge going down at the front. Um, one DT. Uh-oh, uh-oh, gonna take out the probe that was going to make a third for Schnitzel. And a citadel uh, going down for Schnitzel as well. Um, oh, oh, some dragoons! It looks like Schnitzel's trying to uh, make an engagement right here, but has to pull back. He does have actually fewer units than Oya at this point. Um, oh man, if Oya had like a just probe to sneaking around to build a pylon here, that would have been sick. 
but uh, I guess he does not. Uh, he must suspect the DT here. Yes, he is sending one Dragoon and an Observer to go kill it. Very good. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, he's going to get it. Do it. Kill it. Kill it. All right. And we have an Observer here. Going to see where he hit the tech. Although, obviously, he knows about it already. Um, observatory going down. Fifth and sixth gateway going down for Oya as well. So, actually, this game seems to have stabilized somewhat. Um, I mean, Oya, I think, playing from behind a little bit. But uh, after that bad attack by Schnitzel, I think it's uh, fairly even, and uh, Oya's setting up for his third as well. And his third is actually going to go down uh, faster than Schnitzel. Schnitzel actually forgot, and this probe is actually going to go all the way home. Oh, no, he's going back. Oh, he's stacking his Dragoon buddies. Oh, look at the, those poor Dragoon buddies. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's actually building a pylon. Wow, so he's going to see this third, and uh, it's going to be quite a bit later. I wonder if he's just going to go for an attack. He seems to be. Archive's not quite finished. Uh, there is a probe here. It's going to see the army moving. He is going to know what's up. He can probably camp on one of these ridges, um, much like on Heartbreak Ridge. We do have these uh, little mini high ground things, high ground spokes in the middle of the map. And here we go. Dragoons moving in. Oh, yes, Dragoons have the high ground. They have the high ground. Anakin, don't do it. Don't do it, Anakin. Don't do it. All right, he pulled back. He pulled back. See, Schnitzel, man, he knows what's up. Uh, and this observer is actually going to see this shuttle, which is quite big, quite important. Another pro being sacrificed by Oya to see what's going on here. Uh... And it looks like the third basis for both players is going to go up a uh, pretty similar timing, actually. Um, Schnitzel's just a little bit slower. And, oh my god, did he not see the shuttle? I thought... Wait, I thought he moved... I thought he moved the observer! Is this going to be a storm drop? It is going to be a storm drop! He's moving the, the, the probes! Oh, huge storm drop! It looks like eight kills on the Archon, though, actually... Decent reaction time by uh, Schnitzel, and it looks like Oya has no observer with his army, so these DTs are actually doing a lot of damage. Uh oh, Oya, Oya might be in a bit of trouble here. Oya, his observer comes in, but too late, and the observer gets sniped, so the DT is going to continue doing damage. Oh man, Oya could be in a lot of trouble. Oya's army is getting demolished right here. This could be the end. Schnitzel could take the lead here in this King of the Hill. Oya. Oh yeah, it's down to like four Dragoons. I don't know what he can do. His third base is completely undefended. He's only got a couple of cannons there. Oh man. He's got two High Templar coming in, but I don't think he can hold this base at all. And he won't even be able to clean up the army afterwards. Look at the DT. Still, there's no detection. There's still no detection. He's fighting with his probes. He does not want to lose this game. He wants to keep his lead as the king. But I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Um, the third base is happily mining away. For Schnitzel, he's got uh, plenty of production. Oh, a storm going down, but it doesn't matter. Uh, looks like Schnitzel actually dodged it, kind of. But, uh, yep, that base is going to go down. And uh, looks like plus one is done for Schnitzel. Plus one as well for Oya. Even upgrades, and the random shuttle is still chilling at the Northlands. Hmm, I'm, I'm wondering, oh man, if, if Oya had an observer there, and he had like those two High Templar that he used... Maybe it would have been like a, a more even fight, but uh, man, those DTs just did so much damage. And he does have four, five Templar now. Oh, a huge storm's going down. That's exactly what he needs. Uh, can he get another one? He has five Templars. Oh my God, those storms, man. Those storms are insane. I think that I.